let us return to Gotham. We rejoin the four of you in a bit of a state. <laughs> so, Bateman. you are oh, oh. deep in the Riddler's labyrinth. You are facing down the corridor of the Riddle of the Sphinx. At one end of this corridor, we see Ed collapsed, unconscious, on the floor. Breathing, but uh, with, uh, as we have established, a fresh lightning-shaped scar across his temple. Crouching over him, Jackie, Ollie, trying to render first aid in the immediate moments after this. Uh, and standing up and in front of you, realizing the nature of this hallway and its grid of lasers that trigger an electrical arc burst if crossed at the incorrect points is dot dot dot. What are you doing? All, any, any or all of you. Okay. I'm on the floor. I'm unconscious. Ed, we know what you're doing. Yes, we know what you're doing. We know what you're doing. Yeah, Ed's, literally, Jackie Ed's is covered. shaking you. Check that one off. We know what Ed's doing. I just want to make sure you guys knew. I just wanted to make sure those No, thank you. And thank you for clarifying. No, that was very I, helpful. We should have asked you. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, that's yeah. on us. <laughs> okay. Dot, dot, dot. Is, yeah. fu- is not fucking around, not waiting for anyone else. It's just gonna solve this. And okay, just great. Keep spraying as like as he goes along, just trying to find where the trigger points are. Cool, cool. Okay, so, uh, I no your your previous role to to successfully figure out the. Uh, to successfully notice the detail carries forward here. So dot dot dot. You you are just periodically spraying your your uh, one of your cans of spray paint into the air, uh, and the mist uh, reveals the lasers at at intervals. As previously described, we have green lasers and red lasers, which at different heights. Uh, crisscross each segment of this hallway. So in the first segment, uh, as you approach the Sphinx at the end of the hallway with its riddle, what goes on four legs in the morning, two legs in the afternoon, and three legs in the evening, dot, 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 you are forced to crawl on all fours underneath the red lasers above your head and through the safety of the green lasers. In the second segment, you uh, there there's just enough of a gap in these between the segments, right? That you can realign yourself uh, up or down. So as you crawl out uh, into the gap between the second segment and spray in front of you, you see that uh, there are um, red lasers um, all the way down from essentially head height and at head height there are green lasers Uh, and so you if you enter that well tell me how tell me how you're entering that section I will I'm gonna front flip I'm gonna front flip forward you're going to flip forward. I'm okay. Are you like diving? Yeah, yeah, dive. Not literal front flip. I. <laughs> that would have been way too much for this situation. Yeah. Okay. Just diving forward. Gosh, are you trying to get across the entire segment in one dive? I mean, I think so. I don't think. Uh. Yeah, I guess I am. Is 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 that? possible yeah sure uh it's it sounds like you're trying to maneuver through this next segment 
That is um, correct. Yeah, these are not particularly long, so if you did a if you if you did a good dive, you could maybe at least cover the distance. Give uh I think we're looking at a don't maneuver know. roll. Yeah. I just don't know how else I would be able to like get across in a way that would be like consistent enough to like go there without some other mechanic that maybe the lightning would still be triggered by. That's my only thought why I'm doing that as opposed to another way that might be. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Simpler, I, it's it's your call. Intensive. It's absolutely your call. So this uh, is minus a die because so, it's against yeah. the river. So your level. maneuver rating down one to start. Okay. Double six. Double sixes. I'm mad about oh. it. Shit. You're not okay. be mad. That, Don't kill that my is a, dad. That is a critical success. Uh, cool. Okay, so with a critical success, honestly, I'll tell you straight up, GM behind the screen, a double six is the literal only way you could have done that without incurring harm. <laughs> There's no other way to do what you described without incurring some sort of harm, we regardless the puzzle with of the role. Okay, double sixes. So you... Uh, dot 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 you dive through and you are able to do it fast enough that you do trigger the the electrical arcs uh in fact several in succession as you um uh, initially what you do is you jump up and uh and nothing happens as uh the top part of your body is passing through the green lasers but as soon as you drop below the green lasers into the red suddenly behind you flash 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 just bang 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 uh it's it's almost like these these electrical arcs are happening so quickly it almost sounds like gunshots going off behind you as you dive into the next rib section in between the two segments uh and you i i think you you like dive into a cool roll you do a little somersault and you come up uh in a uh in a crouch in front of the next segment great S continuing to spray in front of you dot 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 you see up ahead in the third section there are red lasers at uh it, it's actually the i guess it's the inverse of the section that you were just yep. in there are uh, red lasers going across roughly down to head height and then there are green lasers all the way down uh the the other like you know uh three quarters of the room if my um double six can i say that my jump forward uh, somersaults into like a slide across the floor all the way through the other side. Sure, why not? Okay. Uh, I don't see any reason that 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 doesn't that doesn't incur the wrath of the lasers. So uh, yeah, so you somersault you sh and as you're going as you're going into the slide, you're spraying up to see the lasers and you slide across, ducking under the the red to the other side and come to uh and come to a halt in front of the statue of the sphinx with the green and purple headdress and the plaque between its paws you turn around and you are clear of the hallway your associates however are very much on the other side and we are going to cut back over to them jackie ollie you are crouched over Ed, who is unconscious, uh, is breathing, has a pulse, but is out. What do you do? Jackie is frantically trying to bring Ed round. Yeah, she doesn't. She doesn't have any any medical stuff with her outside of bandages, uh, which aren't going to do much in this situation. So she's just <laughs> probably almost shaking you, Ed. Mm. Ed. Okay. Come uh, on. Come on. Move, but I missed. Ollie, what about it, you? I feel like Ollie's probably been around people who have had an electrical shock before. He's breathing. 
He's got a pulse. I think Ollie is more concerned about like those are the two most important things. Uh, has his pulse stabilized at all? Is like is his heartbeat stable or is it still uh, arrhythmic? It I think is still a little arrhythmic. Yeah. Yeah, like this Ed is certainly not out of danger. But he's not like in cardiac arrest, which is the important bit. As um, far as you can discern. Yes. Okay. 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 Um, I think Ollie is just like looking. They're looking. They're just. We gotta. We gotta move. We. we, we there's gotta be something that we can do. Not really. He's got a pulse and he's breathing. God damn it! All right. Uh, Jackie is going to haul Ed up over her shoulders. She can absolutely carry him. Okay. Um, what's your next move? You, you, you know, you shoulder Ed, uh, and for, for everyone's, uh, for every, paint, paint us a, a mental picture. Just tell us how tall Jackie is. Um, she's average height. I think we've, we've said before she's about like five, 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 six. Uh-huh. Um, so she's not like a short Petite woman is not the word I would use. We've used like wiry and toned before. Okay. Uh, she has the muscle mass to carry. Yeah, I mean, she's somebody. certainly she's certainly very fit and can do this. That's that's for sure. And uh, Ed, uh, how 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 big a guy is Ed? He's average height for a uh male bodied person he's probably so that's like what five eight five nine ish um, yep. five ten okay so then let's he's he's definitely he's five nine um and uh he's um he's not in the best <laughs> shape so um you know uh i don't know weights so he's like um i don't know like you wonder no, he's more. He's gotcha. more than that. He's, he's probably like two forty. I don't. Two forty, okay. two fifty. Yeah. If he's, he's a ch- he's, yeah, he's a chunk. He's got that body. Yeah. Okay. So I, yeah. I was, I was imagining yeah. Jackie a little smaller and Ed a little bigger. Uh, this, this evens out a little bit more. But Addy, uh, if it helps you, you've seen me in, and you've seen me in real life. I'm five ten. And I weigh about two thirty. No, I Welcome, can't. Internet. I, I literally, I will not be able to. I that doesn't help, unfortunately. <laughs> Regardless, we see Jackie heft Ed over her shoulders. What's your next move? Well, I think Jackie's going to finally look up and see that dot 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 has made it across uh, this this hallway. Yeah. How how did you do that? She was not paying attention while any of that was happening. She was focused on Ed. You certainly were not. Ed. Yo. Dot dot dot. What what are we doing here? What's the what's the drill? Get it across. I'm gonna find the fucking off switch. I'll hit it if you've got one. Brian, I'm gonna look for the off switch. Is there a okay. fucking this, off switch? This is a very this is a very good and interesting maneuver. Uh yeah, so you are you are either either studying the uh the area to see if there is some sort of off switch. Uh, that you can access, or you have an idea about where an off switch might be, and you're going to try to tinker with it. Study. Okay. So, uh, you're studying it, study rating, down one. Five. Five. Uh, okay. Mixed success. So I think you I think you find an off switch, but it is on a timer. Uh, I think uh, you're sort of you're sort of poking around. You're you're looking at the the Sphinx statue. Uh, you're 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 trying to remember if there's there's anything that you did to it, uh, and you notice that the there is a. Um, I don't know what you call these. Uh, the headdress has a um, there's that little like snake that comes out of the top of the the pharaonic headdress. 
you sculpted this. It is, of course, in the shape of a question mark uh, oh. on this version. And Big you hands. notice oh my that uh, your handiwork, your sculptural handiwork, uh, has been modified. There's now a hinge on the base where uh, the little question mark meets the band of the headdress. And you grab that uh, and pull it down. And you hear a click uh, and the hum of electricity from behind the walls ceases. And then you hear a tick, 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 as the little lever starts to rise back up into the upright position. Oh yeah, Jackie's making tracks. Okay. I think Ollie's running along to make sure that if Ed gets, if Jackie overbalances or whatnot, um, that okay. they're there to support Ed. Cool. So, Jackie, you are, um, I think, uh, attempting to maneuver as fast as you possibly can down this corridor through this space with Ed. If, Ollie, if you want, you can help with this action. Um, if you want to pay one stress, that is up to you. I think I'm more there to um, prevent accidents than support because I have a feeling we should preserve every ounce of stress that we have left. Hey, that's your call. Uh, But Jackie, we are looking at a a maneuver roll. Um, I am going to say, because this isn't really against the Riddler anymore, um, this is just situational. You're not going to be down any any dice because you don't have an opponent. I just have one. All right. Do it. Five. Jackie, you tear ass down this hallway, <laughs> Ed over your shoulders. Uh, and I think with a five, it's a, it's a mixed success. So I will give you two options here. Oh um, what's going to happen I love two options. is the system. Yeah, just two equally good choices. So what's going to happen is as you reach the end, you hear the electrical whir, uh, the electrical hum, the whine of the system coming back up. And as you cross the threshold of that third segment, there is a snap and crackle of electricity arcing. Don't. I swear to God, do not. I, <laughs> Hopper, I saw your mouth open, and we cannot do this right now. David's trying to be dramatic. <laughs> we Let's cannot do this right now. Okay. As the electricity <laughs> arcs across behind you at your... Uh, well, let's see. You're in, you're in the third section, so it is uh, unfortunately also at head height. You have two options. Fuck me up. You can take one box of minor harm as the electricity just sort of grazes the back of your head. Or we can mark two segments on the clock that determines whether or not you are detected in Riddler's base. How many segments do we have? There are currently four. Uh, I'm sorry, there are currently two segments marked out of six. I have a question. Yeah. So for my new ability, TikTok, it says when filling a segment on a clock, mark one stress to ticker, untick one additional segment. Is that for me or for the entire group? That is for you. So whenever yeah. you are doing an action that connects to a clock, that's when that ability triggers. Second. Yeah. What do you think, Jackie? Ooh. Well, it doesn't mean we still have two tick marks left, but at the rate we're going, we're yeah. checking them two at a time, which means we probably would have no more grace period after that would be ticked off. If Jackie takes harm, does Ed take harm? Because Jack Ed's on Jackie's back. I'm going to say no, because... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> this is yeah like 
It's a five. It's a I can it's, die. A, it's a success with consequences. So the the consequences are directed at Jackie. If I take the minor harm, I will be down a dice moving forward. However, if we get caught, that's somehow worse. But once again, we, we could you are get... faced with a decision. I've put you in a devilish mind. Them. How will you ever get out of this one? <laughs> I mean, if you Figure can't decide, let me try that again. Noise, you know, with the coin. I'm going to take the harm. Okay. One box of level one harm. Or uh, one box of minor harm. And that fills my minor harm. You can it. also roll to resist this if you feel like paying. Oh, stress. that's true. I could. <laughs> that's an option. Yeah, I will try that. I'm gonna risk this one. Okay. What am I rolling with? Prowess. Uh, prowess for sure, for sure. Okay, so that's th that's three dice. We're probably okay. I like those odds. We're already okay. I don't need to roll another dice. That was a six and a five. Okay, great. So with a six, you can resist free and clear, and you hear this electricity crackle and arc behind your head uh, as you just cross the threshold. All right, we gotta we gotta move. Unless somebody knows how to solve an arrhythmia. Not exactly my uh, field of uh, expertise. Not my neither. All right, Ed, just keep it together. We're gonna get you out of here. Don't worry about it. I will remind everyone of the field first aid rules which do stipulate that you can make an action roll to operate on a crewmate a successful move one marked box of harm down one level so if you can think of any way that you could field stabilize or or uh raise Ed back up, uh, revive Ed to some degree. If two people take action at this point, given Ed's state, uh, you can get potentially two boxes of harm down two levels, which, which might, uh, which might be able to clear that severe box and bring Ed back up. I mean, the only thing you think of is like, sort of like jamming his his heart, give it like a good solid clap. I mean, you can you can try like, I, dirty CPR, <laughs> I guess. Uh, dirty CPR is the title of David's sex tape. I mean, I could do it. <laughs> it's. I mean, I could try. So just like, are you just like punching him in the chest? Like, it, cause he, he does have a pulse and he is breathing. So I'm not trying to restart his heart. I'm trying to almost like do a hard reboot. Okay. Like medicine, y'all? You're I, trying I to say, whack like, his heart until it gets back into speaking, nor into normal I know, rhythm. I know that there there is, there is in fact a way to do this. To, yeah, it's called to an AED. It's called yeah, an AED. Well, and what you do is you use some electrical shock to don't have stop that. the heart. And then it allows you. Is there well, an AED just kicking around? Well, there's also another thing that you could possibly do, which is um, <laughs> adrenaline. Um, that is a treatment for um, arrhythmia. Um, so, I mean, oh. you could we got the hold juice? open uh, Ed's eyes and show him the rage basilisk that Adam hmm. made. I might have the juice, though. Wait, juice. what juice do you have? Adrenaline? Like yours? Like, you know, the kind that you, you just have... jab into somebody? Oh, okay, like yeah, real like juice. Yeah, like the drug. The rules of the game are if you have a gear slot that's empty, you are allowed to say that you have, I have literally adrenaline, anything. But I'm not willing to tell you where I got it. But and I have valid. it. Is it just nice. venom? No. It's just I, adrenaline. Because just give Ed venom. For for things like this, uh that are like kind of plot critical and it is slightly implausible that you would have this. 
fair. This would be, under normal circumstances, a flashback to explain how you acquired this and um, and pay one stress for the flashback. Jackie, I'm just going to let you pay one stress to have it. Thanks. Been making a lot of supply runs. How you much have. stress you do you have, have left to wait? I'm you good. Don't worry about it. For this one, I will pay that stress. I have, I will say, one Just or to two know. vials? Syringes, rather? One syringe? One syringe. Uh, we'll say I, that. I was asking for your opinion. Oh, uh, my my opinion? Yeah. I think it's one. Yeah, you would you would have to mark it another is. gear slot, I think, for, Easily for done. multiples. I, have, I actually have a lot of open gear slots at the moment. Um, so yeah, I'll mark it. Um, Jackie's gonna pull uh, a syringe out of her pocket that you two definitely didn't know she had, and is just gonna hey, raise what? up I, I, and I, I, jam I, I, it in. What, what the? What are you? Oh, oh! What the fuck? Yeah. Uh, Did you just stab him in the fucking heart? Please, for the I, love uh, of fucking God, I, tell me that it that is whatever gods there are. Look, tell me that that is some sort of chemical that you got from like an actual. Medicinal, yes. Doctor type that. person. Yes, it's fine. It's just adrenaline. Oh fuck. Okay. Hey, cool. I mean, I was saving it for an emergency, and this feels like an emergency. This, this is yeah. an emergency. Uh, it, how's Ed reacting? Jackie, give me a roll to operate on Ed. Oh god, I have no operate, and I'm down a negative. Okay. Well. You can can push yourself. What all hail dice? Or you can take a devil's bargain. bargain. Okay, devil's bargain for this. You can get the. It's going to be precarious. You can get the die. You can get the extra d6. But um, if Ed, uh, if you like have any mixed successes or failures the consequence will be the harm comes back i will say it will be just one box of uh it will be you know it will be what you what you got earlier so it will be one box of level two harm will come back at you and try not to do stupid shit challenge Oh, that you can't that's, do that. That's you, the you're devil's part. Part. <laughs> Yeah, we're fine. We are all incapable of that. Um, if I push myself, I will have exactly one stress left. Oh, Jackie, don't do that. I'm not worth it, Jackie. I'm unconscious. God damn it! I, it means I don't know. Maybe disadvantage like, if I don't do it. He's like Jackie. I'll like, do it. But is that worth <laughs> all or nothing if you don't roll a six? I mean. If I roll a five, it's or a four, it's still a mixed success. Even if I push myself, if I just have the one dice, isn't that better than disadvantage? Yeah. What what we'll say is um, because you have the adrenaline um, under normal circumstances, it's just going to be like it's just one box of harm moves. Uh, because you have the adrenaline, if you are able to get so uh, a mixed success is is going to be one box. If you are able to get a uh, a straight success, it'll be two boxes that you can move. Oh no! I'm, I think I'm gonna push myself. Jackie knows it's, it's what she okay would do. Jackie. It's what she would do. Uh, she just watched you get seriously hurt on her watch, and of course, she feels responsible. Should have talked you out of this. Should have said no to this. I'm sorry, Ed. Jackie and knows. This is my late, Jackie. I've done it. The six. Yeah, baby. Fuck yeah. Okay. Jackie will learn nothing from this. <laughs> so yeah, Jackie, you you plunge this syringe into Ed's chest. Ollie reacts. Uh, there there is this moment where where uh, you you sort of have this this almost bullet time conversation with with Ed, barely out barely barely in in consciousness and then uh jackie as you stare into ed's face ed's eyes snap open 
uh, Ed, you take in a a tremendous gulp of air. You feel your oh, heart that's racing. That's a hot cup of coffee. Uh, and you can now move two. Uh, well, you can move one box. You can move two slots down from what you have. So your if if I am interpreting your sheet correctly, your uh, moderate harm now moves to minor, and your severe harm now moves to moderate, and you have two boxes of minor harm and two boxes of moderate harm, but no boxes of severe harm marked. So funny as that you, I can't roll many bolt successes. <laughs> upright. Uh, no, you, you can absolutely. Now. Yeah, we you I didn't, didn't take, take that devil's bargain. bargain. Oh, you pushed myself. Oh my god. So that that did not go myself. into effect. I have one more Ugh. piece of stress left to me. Yeah. But yeah. you will be okay. The Jackie. Uh she, Jackie sees that you're awake and she's just like oh, god and she gives you a big old hug. Oh. Oh, oh, oh my god. Everything. Do not hurts. scare me oh, like that again. Yeah. What happened? Are you okay? No! No, I'm not! Well, I mean, you're talking and you're breathing, so I'm gonna take that as a, oh, yeah, okay. somewhat, maybe, um, you're okay. Oh! Oh! Oh boy, okay. Man, that was, that was so fast. Just take no, it I, easy. I'm better, feeling better. No, I think I could get up. Let's get up, let's go! And gotta go, you, gotta go. you, in this immediate moment, you feel fucking great. You feel like you could wrestle Bane. You feel like <laughs> you could leap off of a building and you would live. Yeah, I just, I squeeze Jackie so tight and I stand up, I'm still squeezing Jackie. I'm like, yes! Oh, yeah, ow. you see this Riddler? Fuck you! Fuck okay. you! Fuck okay. you! We're gonna fuck the Riddler, Yo. not really, but we're gonna just Yo, take it some Riddler I, 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 oh, Better than I thought it would. Breathe, breathe, oh. breathe. Oh, I'm breathing. Come on, bud. All right. Oh. Look, we gotta fucking go. Yeah, no more near yeah, death experiences. I'm ready. I'm ready. No more of this. Let's just get the money. I'm ready to go. All right, and the four of you, uh, uh, at uh, at dot dot dots, urging, uh, in the in the direction, book it. Uh, through another couple of twists and turns, up and down another couple of flights of steps, um, through these narrow labyrinth corridors, and then you... I could do this all day! Yeah, you really legitimately feel like you could, and, uh, and you round a corner, and you see another long straightaway, and at the end is the same sort of bright spotlight that you saw over the Sphinx statue. And this one is over a heavy duty security door, which is the only thing at the end of this corridor. Uh, unlike the very performative brass and steel vault door at the entrance to the labyrinth, this is a sleek, modern, reinforced security door. And you can see to the left of it, a box made of brushed steel with a heavy sort of industrial metal handle beside it. Like one of those big switches. I know there is a password. Where does the password fucking go? That yeah, is my we question. Just, we just pull the fucking lever. We pull the fucking no, lever, and, right? And and like, let's do it. Let's keep lever. it together. Hey, I gave you a, I gave you a big dose just because I wanted you to come back, but... Uh... Does Ed run down okay, and pull so the lever? <laughs> no, no, no. no. Uh, I imagine that um, in uh, his state, Jackie and Ollie would be like, no. I'm pretty sure that Jackie's I mean, got one that. arm and Ollie's got the other arm and we are yeah. holding you. Yeah, yeah. You're you're holding, the two of you are holding Ed back as dot, 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 you approach the door and the box. And you've seen this in operation. You were with, with the Riddler when you came into the secure storage. And you know that you go up, you pull the handle down, the 
uh, that triggers a, a click and whir of gears and springs. The box rotates 180 degrees in the wall to reveal a brass typewriter-like contraption with an LCD screen above it. And scrolling across what? that screen, green lettering glowing on a black background is a string of text. The string of text reads as follows. G-U-R space G-U-V-E G-R-R-A-G-U space P-V-C-U-R-E comma P-V-C-U-R-E-R-Q. Okay. Do you want to just drop that in chat? Yeah, I can do Thanks. that. Thanks. Okay. I know the fucking answer. I know the answer is Roach 13. You do know the answer. I'm just going to type in the answer. Why am I trying to solve it? <laughs> I've been I've been literally staring at this like an, a weird anagram. Yeah. <laughs> uh, together. Who and cares? Let's dot, dot, do dot. You, you type that in on the typewriter. Click, 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 click. R-O-T-1-3. That's a cipher, right? The I don't know. LCD screen flashes red, bang, and nothing happens. Fuck. Did that? Kid, I thought you said you got the code. Everybody shut up. Everybody shut up. I need to really think right now, okay? Just give me just give me a hot second real quick, okay? I thought I knew what that meant. I did not. Please give me one second. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Um, but, okay. Type text. I just flipped it. Type text to Reverger. I don't know. It, it says type t the first three words when you flip it around, and then there's R E V E G U R. Is it like okay. every other gang? Oh, well, it I says think here. The it's... last word is here. The first... I have. I have a cipher. Type text it... to. I think it's a cipher. I think it has to be a cipher. I have the um, cipher. And I think the second word is 13. Yes. It the the cipher is the 13th cipher ciphered. Fuck does that. So mean? what do you do with that information? Hey. That's just what a cipher code is, like like route 13, is that a thing? Or whatever. Okay. Just flipping the text gives you type text to R E V E capital G U R, which is not correct. Oh, um, um no, wait, no, 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 no. It is literally a cipher. R O T thirteen. It's it's like the Caesar cipher. Yes, oh, I, it, it is a Caesar cipher. Okay, R O T thirteen. Um, fuck, I'm trying to remember Caesar cipher now. That's the replace. It's a replacement cipher. Um. So Every 13. I don't know ciphers very well. Or at least I'll probably um, have different kinds of 13 one, two, five, one, two, three. ciphered. So it's. So well, that, it's that would be ROT 13. 13 in the cipher itself, correct? Well, thir but. Oh, but I guess if you spell out 13. But how do you know it's not just the cipher solved? So if the message is the 13th cipher ciphered so i'm would i just oh 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 wait okay wait oh so wait we have to reverse oh my god no okay so rot 13 is the answer and then we have to cipher it using the cipher okay so then i guess we have to spell out 13 so what's the 13th letter letter after r after r from which point well, it, it would be 13 letters after R. So like R, the, the first letter after R is S. So, But if you get all the way to Z, you go back to A. So it would be S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z, A, B, C, D, E. R, O, T stands for rotate. I'm so stupid. Don't. Okay. Guys, I, I literally showed you a Caesar cipher before we fucking started, you guys. <laughs> Oh my, I can- Yeah, I can, that was one of the most amazing things that could have possibly happened. I can do this. Okay, so the 13th cipher ciphered. So I am, I just don't, un, like- So 
it would just be R O T thirteen. That's literally like... what I typed in the first time, and it didn't work. So the so well, I what need it, to... what do you mean it didn't work? Like no no no, but you typed in R O T thirteen. Correct. But, but I need to actually you type need, in. You need the, the you need the actual. You need it to be letters. ciphered. Like R O T thirteen, but in the cipher. So R O T thirteen, but garbled. So okay. we just have to have to put R O T thirteen through the cipher. So so we did the first one, right? So R thirteen letters after that would be E, right? Because it yes. goes back to Z. Right. Okay. So then O, o. thirteen letters after that. P Q R S T U V W X Y Z A B E B. So B. I guess I then, could just go by the pattern of this of the whatever. Um, e thirteen letters. U V W X Y Z A B C D E F G. E B G thirteen into the typewriter. Does it okay. work? E B G one three. And as you type the last character dot 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 you hear the internal locking mechanisms of the reinforced security door click open. Guys, that was brilliant. Fuck you, Riddler. Fuck you. Fuck you. I've been to the fucking spy museum. Fuck you. (laughs) (laughs) And and so was Adam. We went there together. You took us there. It was a field trip. It was really uh, fun. And Ed, really you you know from your uh, old school message board days, uh, okay. back in the day, you when you were you know surfing the net on the forums, uh, on the message boards, people would use this cipher to hide things like spoilers for for movies, um, and the joke being that it was such an easy cipher to reverse back and forth because the coding and the decoding are exactly the same 26 letters in the alphabet you move them forward 13 spaces you garble it you move them forward another 13 spaces you ungarble the message so it is a notably insecure cipher that nobody would use (laughs) <laughs> guys, 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 guys. I have a uh, look. I've I've some theories. Okay, these puzzles. Look, you know, the, the Riddler's supposed to be like, or you you know, he says he's like a fucking genius, right? Smartest guy ever. Seen. Like, Ew, you could never be as smart as me. <laughs> I won't even remember your name. He's the fucking smartest guy ever, right? Why is this so easy? Why is this so easy? It's because, because he's a punk ass bitch. Fucking, is he stupid? Oh, he's condes he's condescending the Batman, Ed. This whole thing is for Batman. It's just a, like, he's just, it's just an ego trip. Ed, Ed, you got a deadbolt on your door, right? At home? Yeah. No, yeah, you no, know how? No, I live, but yes, I have had a deadbolt. The point is, a deadbolt, it ain't shit. There's always a way in. You can, you can break down the door. You can fucking break it in certain ways. You can destroy the hinges. Fuck, you can blow through the wall. It's not actually secure. What it is, is an inconvenience. Right. Yeah. It, yeah. Y- this is all an incon. It's all a fucking or inconvenience, Ed. Maybe the Riddler isn't as smart as he thinks he is. Um, and I will say, just for general reference, Ed, like you think back to your time working for the Riddler, these were exactly the sort of puzzles that he did <laughs> all the time. It was just this day in, day out, every single day, every single caper. So this, I love dunking on him. Oh, I wonder if dot, dot, no dot, fucking you... kidnapped Jillian George. What a piece of shit. You pull open forgetting. the security door uh, and you are faced with a uh, another short hallway at the end of which is a regular door. And you are aware that this is, uh, as a security measure, set up like an airlock system. So uh, you cannot have both doors open. You have to close the interior door. You have to close the exterior door to open the interior door and vice versa. You have to close the interior door behind you to open up the the exterior. What's your next move, crew? We're we're moving through the hallway. 
We're getting the goods. You fucking cool. money. Let's go. Okay. So you you hustle into the hallway, you close the external door, you hustle down, you open the interior door, and you see uh, dot, dot, dot. You are immediately familiar with this. A small room lit by fluorescent lights. The walls are lined with these floor to ceiling uh, metal shelving units, and they are stacked with various file boxes and lock boxes in the center of the room, on the floor exactly where you left it, exactly where you put it down, dot, 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 is a metal lock box with a hinged handle, and inside that box is all of the extant basilisk material that you are aware of. How y'all getting this stuff out? Put in my fucking bag. I think an easy flashback is that we've stored some foldable, reusable bags in our pockets. What's a bag Which, of bags? I love those little foldable bags. <laughs> yeah, they're great. Okay, so your plan is to take out these bags that you've got with you and just start uh, popping open lock boxes. Oh shit, do we have to pay stress Wait. for that though? Wait, can I mark I'll a gear spot? It. I'll pay I'll pay. Can I'll I mark pay. a gear spot? Yeah. I have an idea. I have an idea. I do. It's it's actually really good. Okay. Okay. If you go to Target in the travel section, they have vacuum sealable bags that comes with a little pump. You can buy like a shit ton of Oh packs fuck, that's really good. You, you put it in the stuff in there and you seal it down. It seals down so fucking small. Oh. If they're so cheap, I will yeah. mark this on my gear sheet. This this is the way. And then we can also have a bag of bags. That's the stuff they use for like meat in your freezer. Yeah. Yeah. I love yeah, it. Yeah, I, I have these and I use them almost every time I travel. They're great. Yes, they're so, amazing. Um uh, I will I I am going to say uh let's have a quick flashback to the coffee shop where you establish that you have these. You're gonna pay one stress and then anybody who wants to can mark that they have bags as part of their gear. Um, and will, I'm not going to make you, it's stress. not going to be like per bag. Okay. I, yeah. Any, any, yeah. anybody who wants to can pay the stress for the flashback. So Me. flashback to, uh, flashback to the coffee shop. What's the conversation quickly establishing these bags. Okay. So like, I, I'm going to get you guys in there. It's going to be really easy. Right. So once we're in, the only thing that I like the as like maybe a problem is like there's it's a lot of money. So and also my 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 files. Like the files I can just, you know, rip Are we them. talking like computer files, we're talking like they're on a full, they're, not, they're on a hard drive. So I'm just gonna take the oh, hard drive. That's easy. Easy. The money, the money is the thing. How are we getting the money out? What the? How's it stored? What's the currency? Um, it's hard. It's hard currency. Yeah. It's cash. It's cash. All right. Well, that makes it a little easy. If big bulky. bills, small bills. Big bills. Big bills. All right. That's good for us. Shit. We need to compact it if we're trying to be stealthy. We can't. Uh, we can't roll out with like uh, a wheelbarrow and twelve fucking duffels. <laughs> a big fucking money sign screwed like scribbled on it. I mean, that would be funny. It wouldn't be the first time well, that's happened in Gotham City. Okay, so uh, when I was younger, I went on this vacation with uh, this Maria. Um, anyway, uh, it doesn't matter. Um, so basically, you can get these things, right? Target has them. And, and you put stuff in them, and then you suction the, the, the air out, and then it, it compresses it all down. It sucks all the air out. We can... Uh, I swear they have them in Target. We can go and get hell, them there. Ed, what the hell is a Target? Is that like a gun shop? Target does not exist. <laughs> yeah. Everyone knows the, the gun shop named Target. They sell um, those little resealable baggies? Target. Now. Gotham. Uh, you can't do this for every fucking <laughs> store that existed. You know it's Al, a guys, guys, you know it's a Lexmart. Yes. It is Lexmart. Lexmart. It is, yeah. Okay, they have them. I was going to say. I mean, I, have... I was going to suggest Deadshot, but 
Well, that was oh, my joke. That's the goblin Damn equivalent it. of Target. That was my that's joke. Good. And then Floyd has oh, sued the city many anyway. times. You'd be teeing us up for just the greatest shit. You're just ugh, the name. Would okay. love to see that. Lex, uh, yeah, you can get him at Lex courtroom. <laughs> that trial, baby. Wait. Are we doing Lexmart or are we doing Deadshot? Lexmart. Sorry. Or Lexmart. I was overcome. But also okay. imagine a supervillain suing because he used his moniker for a fucking a chain <laughs> store. It's great. It's very good. Okay. All right. I will it's need that comic. Good. All right. That's that's <laughs> so, a anyway, that's a streets have like of Gotham that. Elseworlds. That's <laughs> enough for a whole Elseworlds. <laughs> that's how impactful it is to the lore. <laughs> uh cool. Yeah. Is that is that and yes, with that, yeah, okay. we, oh, we flash. The bag of bags. Yeah, and you, we hear we hear Ed's voice echoing. Don't forget the bag of bags. Don't forget the bag of bags. Don't forget the bag of bags. <laughs> so far away. Uh, so Ollie just starts pulling uh, bags out of their vest, um, like or out of their work workers' coveralls. I think is what we established. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just like uh, just like tossing. Each of you uh, gets hit in the chest with like a uh, a bag of bags. Cool. Do y'all have uh, two two more items? How are you opening the lock boxes? And do you have for these vacuum bags an electric air pump? Is it a manual? Keeping in mind that you would have had to have been carrying this through the entire facility this time on your person. Just say but it's you, like you, a, like you've a, had backpacks. We established that. It's like the vacuum that sucks all the air. Out. Yeah, it's um it's a well, it's a manual pump. It's actually it's not that big. It's like it's I mean, it does look a little bit obscene. Um thank God you but... know these things. <laughs> cool. Okay, I'm so, all about convenience. Yeah. So it, it is it is a like, it's a very um, compact little hand pump. Uh, how Isn't are you there getting one the... that's automatic? Like it, like there's like um, like this, like the part where you seal, you like put the thing on it, and it just like sucks it all out. Like instead of us, because I feel like us pumping is just gonna take up so much time. <laughs> what is this technology? It actually doesn't take that long. But what is this technology? Where are we? We are dangerously close to me. <laughs> I. I, okay, I, I regret the question. <laughs> okay, all right. I, I retract the question. How are you getting the lock boxes open? Okay. Do I need to break open the lock boxes to to, to just take these, or can I, I just take the it. lock box? I mean, these are these are big, heavy metal lock boxes full of cash. So it's going to be easier to get sounds... the cash and vacuum seal the cash. Yeah. Okay. Um, but you will. You do need a method to break open the lock boxes. Can we? Can we brute force this, Ollie? Crowbar. Crowbar. Or alternately, are, what kind of lock do they? Do we? You've seen the locks, so we flash back to the diner. Okay. Great. Uh, or not the diner, the uh, goth bucks. Right. What kind okay. of what kind of lock boxes is all uh, all the cash stored in? Oh, uh, like, I mean, I, I, yeah, I, don't, what, I just don't know how much I can make up. Do we need to worry about biometric? Do we okay. need to worry? Is is it okay. a key? Is it a standard? Is, do they all go, have the same go key? For it. Come on, come on. Okay, this I, is your job, kid. I understand. Give me one second. It's been like two months since I've actually been inside. It's been two months since he's been inside. <laughs> God damn it. Hmm? We are losing it tonight. <laughs> okay, so it is. I I need to sh to flash my card, and then it'll it'll show it like an actual like it'll pop out like a like an actual like lock like 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 a like a bolt lock, and then we can just break that puppy open. So once I flash my card, I'm registered in the system. I can just flash it. It pops open, shows the bolt, break the bolt, open the box, get the money. All right, realize okay. that might put you in the system, right? Like, you'll be recorded as yeah, having think... opened that lockbox. Yeah, you but okay also, with that? Also, like, this is kind of like a swan song. Like, just to just it's like it's like leaving like the Pink Panther at the scene of a crime, right? It's like, ooh, I love that movie. You yeah, know that that you want him to know it was you. 
So can we get away with the crowbar or should I bring like some mini bolt cutters? Maybe bring bolt cutters, Justin. Right. I mean, angle grinder is not off the board either. Just, Ollie, you've always been the one to like actually like hack and slash, so I trust your judgment. The jaws of life you get like a, <laughs> you know, well, spreaders. I mean, it might be kind of difficult. I think so, big are your pockets. Overkill, not big. I uh, <laughs> dot 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 like shows like the four cargo pa- pants pockets along their pants. Uh, yeah, I like, could basically fit the jaws of life in those thing. Woo. I, Ollie literally pulls out a pair of bolt cutters from like from their pants. Like they're like this long. It's like it's just uh, they're you mini just, bolt You just cutters. come standard issue with it. Yeah, yeah. And I think Look, I think Ollie. What do you do? You, what do you just shoot every lock you see, Jackie? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I obviously. You know what? I kind of walked into that one. I mean, you were in Occam with me. You saw how I handled most of the locks. Yeah. You also shot a fence, if I recall correctly. I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, very impressive, if not practical. But all right. If it works. And Ollie, you demonstrate. You 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 demonstrate at the coffee shop table the very efficient bolt cutters and we match cut in the present to those bolt cutters clipping the uh the shackle off of one of the lock boxes you flip it open and i think y'all have a bit of a an assembly line here so uh somebody oh somebody breaks open the lock box and starts uh and then an- another person starts shoveling the cash out to the next person who is is sealing up the bag and starting to to pump it out. Meanwhile, first person has moved on to the next lockbox. You're doing that in sequence. Dot, dot, dot. What are you doing with the basilisk box that is the goal of this heist for you? So we've established that this is a... there. There's a little like RFID scanner on on the box um, and that mechanically pops out the physical shackle lock, right? Cool. Okay. So you, uh, yeah, so you do that. You scan your ID on the box. There is a little tweedledee and ka-chunk, the little shackle pops out and is now exposed. Tippity choppity. I think the instant the instant uh, he does that, Ollie is just like it's autopilot. Cool. Yep. Autopilot. Yeah, Ollie, you swoop in from the side, snip, and the just like all the others, the shackle bolt is cut through, uh, and the lock is well, it's not locking much of anything at this point now. Jackie is watching dot, dot, dot. I mean, she's she's putting money away, but she's not looking at that. She's watching you because you and I had a deal as well. You certainly did. Like Indiana, well, Indiana didn't open the arc. That'd be bad. That metaphor immediately died. Um, yeah. <laughs> you might say it melted, yeah. Choose, choose your melted. metaphors carefully here. Dot, dot, dot opens the box reverently. Okay. Just no. three no. Hail Marys. <laughs> <laughs> dot, dot, dot. You, you flip open the lid of the box and uh, we can practically see your the, the light in your eyes uh, as you look down into it. And that light uh, immediately darkens as you see that the box is empty. Behind you... Oh, fuck. The interior oh, door fuck. slams oh, shut, fuck. and you can oh, hear fuck. a heavy lock bolt clanking into place as the floor of the empty box in front of you, dot, 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 begins to rise up. There is some sort of mechanism that is being revealed as it rises through the floor of this box with the clinking and whirling of gears. Suddenly, you hear around you the 
clatter of chain belts as the wall shelves begin to recede down into the floor to reveal that you are now inside a cage of heavy-duty steel. You can see that the hallway behind you has also sunk into the floor. You are in the center of a much larger room than you thought you were. A dark dome made of small square panels from floor to ceiling with a few small spotlights shining down onto this central cage that you thought was the secure storage room, but is now a prison. And in the center of this mechanism that has risen out of the floor, you all see an hourglass, which with the whirring of gears, chunk, 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 flips over and uh, starts to drop its grains of sand from the top into the bottom of the glass. Hey, I think we just found out why that passcode was so easy. And as Ed will say, you notice this as you're looking around, uh, hyped up on adrenaline, you look up to the top of the dome and you see one of those panels flip over. And on the other side of the dark panel, you very instantly recognize a telltale piece of a basilisk image. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, God. Which is where we're going to leave it for now. No. (laughs) Oh, God. Thanks for joining us on Manipod Studios for Streets of Gotham. Streets of Gotham runs Mondays at 8 p.m. Eastern. You can watch past games on youtube.com slash Manipod Studios. Let's get our players sign-offs and shout-outs. My name is Andre. You can find me at Andre Vera Art on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, and at my uh, website, andrevera.art, which has my professional illustration portfolio as well as all the actual plays that I'm in, including The Atomus, Tragedy of the Illusion, Unicorn Hunt, Redline, Power Rangers, and Streets of Gotham. Um, I also want to shout out my uh, itch, uh, itch.io slash Andre Vera Art. We can get some games. Um, I have some uh, games that I've just made by myself, uh, as well as many collaborations with... uh, my my dear dear wonderful uh super dylan uh including uh at, at the time of recording our newest uh collaborative game american world fight club which is very fun you should check it out i have been hopper regrettably i will continue to be hopper um if you are uh a masochist and uh, interest in seeking out more of me uh you can find me here on this network uh very often on flights of fandom uh every tuesday and uh on the hole in the world our award-winning uh act- uh invisible sun actual play um in addition to that uh i can be found on the interwebs under the legend tree including on Twitch, where it's done with underscores, so you can come watch the deranged shit that I do put out there. But it's good deranged shit. I have been Marcy. If I shall continue to be here in future, only time will tell. Uh, But in the meantime, uh, I feel pretty confident you can still find me here on Manipod Studios pretty much uh, every Tuesday, as Hopper said, doing Flights of Fandom. Um, We've got a whole bunch of those episodes coming up for you, so you're going to want to keep your eyes right here on this channel each week. Uh, And uh, yes, I too am in the hole in the world, which is every Sunday. Uh, As I've said before, I'm a writer and an editor. You can find me almost anywhere online under the username Experimental Madness. And if you can't find me there, well, you can find me under my secondary, lesser known name, uh, Marsifal. Maddie here. Uh, you can find me on social media um, as Seller Tater and on my website, maddiecourtney.com. 
Uh, I'd love to plug my friends down at the Laughing Dragon Inn. They're another really great group of TTRPG streamers. So definitely go check their stuff out. Um, I believe they have Twitch, YouTube, and also a cool website uh, with all their characters and campaigns and stuff. And I've been David. You can find me on social media at DBrunel Brutman and on Manipot's Flights of Fandom. You can also find tabletop RPGs I've designed at dbb-8.itch.io, including In the Dark, the Blades in the Dark hack that we play right here on Streets of Gotham. And with that, we'll see you next time.